Hello and welcome to another video of Commodore 64 games loading from tape. Yes, I've been going through my Commodore 64 collection of games from the 1980s, brought them all out, and uh, I have been making videos of them and uploading them up to YouTube um, just to see if these things still work, and apparently there is still interest in these games. I was actually surprised to see that. So, um, this particular game I'll be loading up today, it's a game from Mastertronic, which were the software publishing house uh, in the UK that used to release their games mostly at uh, £1.99, you know, these were budget games, uh, when everybody else was selling their games for £7.95, £8.95, or £9.95 on cassette, or I think it was like £15 for a disc game, but in the UK, uh, the cassette, uh, loading games from cassette was the pr was the most popular method because disc drives were really just too crazy as far as expense, uh, as far as price is concerned. No one really could afford them. So we may do with um, the cassette deck, the C2N 1530 um, data set unit. Um, but yeah, Mastertronic came in and, you know, a lot of those games were crap, but, uh, but there were some that were worth every penny. In fact, they could have been full-priced games, um, but you could snag them for one ninety-nine. You couldn't really go wrong. So this particular one here is Star Force Fighter, and uh, I don't remember the specifics. It's it's. Uh, I think it's a horizontal shoot 'em up, similar to another game that I recently reviewed called Force One. That one was by Firebird. But this one here is by Mastertronic. Um, what I'll do is I'll get the tape loaded. And while it's doing that, I will actually read the cassette box to see what year this thing actually came out. I'm guessing 86 or 87. So uh, let's see what it says here. I don't see a year on this, so it's probably going to be on the uh, inside the game itself once it finishes loading. It does look like it is loading there. Get that, move it along. So as mentioned, uh, yeah, those games that I have in my collection, it's about 400. I'll be adding them all to a playlist. That playlist is in progress. Um, been, I started building it about a month ago, so we got maybe about 40, 45 games or so there now. So a little past one tenth of the way, but the goal is to get. <laughs> And it does say there, it came out in 1987. Alright, I'll let you enjoy the loading music. I'll be back once the game uh, finishes loading.
Very much like uh, like Force One that I was, that I mentioned before. But I'm, looking to, I'm looking to see if the uh, if 
you watch the Force One video, um, my biggest complaint was that the waves were very predictable. So once you had those memorized, damage. So this is definitely a little bit better than the uh, Force One. I'm not sure why I died there. And uh, it, looks like it, it looks like it takes multiple shots for us to uh, kill these enemies. Try and play some auto fire. Just got the upgraded weapon. seconds maybe. Ah. Come on, give me another one of those pods. Oh, I just... Oh, man. Give me something good. What's that, dude? Oh, that slowed me all the way down. Make the scoreboard. All right, put my name up. again. Can I still die though? Oh, as soon as I come back to life, I die. Come back visible, I die. Oh, you gotta be kidding me.
You see, that one, you don't want that one, because that slows you all the way down. I don't see, I don't see why you'd want to slow all the way down. It's, it's like it's only slowing you down, it's not slowing down. I missed that. Ah! Oh. <laughs> it's the second one I missed. Oh, we came up. Oh, it's gonna be the slow one again. Oh, why does it keep giving me this rubbish? It's better off just dying there. Still don't know what this does. I still don't know what the purpose of that is. Man. See, that particular weapon, I would love to have that. That's because it's like, you will take them out like one shot. So that is um, Star Force Fighter by Master Tronic, 1987. Uh, it is a definitely a, it's definitely a better game than um, than Force One. As I already said, it's because you know it doesn't to uh, change up the actual gameplay. So it keeps you on your toes. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed this game. If you had it, feel free to leave a comment down below. Um, if of course I was, you know doing something wrong or you know I wasn't I had, you know just not controlling it right or there was some other feature that I didn't even touch you know like some smart bomb or something I don't know um, but yeah leave that leave that as a comment too so that way uh, when I play back the game I'll have a better understanding of what we're supposed to be doing here I'm just shooting every single thing that comes at you but thanks for watching I will be making another video for you guys soon um, this video, as I said, will be added to the uh, 400 game mega playlist that I'm currently compiling, so please go ahead and subscribe. That will give you some notifications of whenever a new game is added to that playlist. Thanks again, guys. I will see you on the next one. Take care.